Guys, we're gonna train some delts. I'm calling this one my 3D delt workout. I've got some unique exercises inside this workout. I've got some pretty cool workout intensifying techniques as well. You guys are gonna absolutely love this shoulder workout. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's go. Starting this workout off with my shoulder mobility, guys. A little bit of external rotation through my shoulders, a little bit of internal rotation. Then we're gonna dive straight into exercise number one. Starting this workout off with rear delts as I do all of my shoulder workouts, making sure that we put a pump in those rear delts, set the shoulder capsule in a nice position for the rest of the workout. So we're gonna start off with reverse incline dumbbell rear delt flies, driving each and every rep with the elbows, superset with reverse incline dumbbell ski rows. So pulling the elbow back behind the torso instead of on, in the same plane as the rear delt. And then we're gonna move into exercise number two, dumbbell lateral raises, one of the most fundamental middle delt movements. We've got five working sets, extended hypertrophy here. I've chosen to do these standing guys because it allows me to really focus on driving firstly through my heels so I can keep my heels on the floor and then making sure that I'm initiating the movement of each rep with my elbows. You notice my elbows stay above my wrists on each and every rep. Exercise number three, back to the rear delts, bent over barbell rear delt rows. We've got five working sets working up in weight and down in reps. This is one of the more unique rear delt movements. A lot of people consider this, really, you bent over barbell rows are typically a back movement, but when you bend over so that your torso is parallel to the floor, and you keep your elbows in line with your shoulders and pull them up towards the ceiling, you're gonna hit very little back, you're gonna hit maximum delts. It's a very tricky exercise to get correct, but once you do, one of the best for rear delts. And exercise number four, going back to the middle delts and traps, easy bar, upright row, 21s. We got five working sets. This is seven bottom half reps, straight into seven top half reps finishing off with seven full range reps to get us our 21s, making sure we're driving each and every rep with our elbows. Once again, the elbows stay above the wrists on each and every rep. That's gonna ensure we keep the tension in the middle delts. Exercise number five, isolateral cable raises. We're really gonna hammer the middle delts here, guys. Five working sets, extended hypertrophy. I do these leaning because it opens up the range of motion for which we can achieve constant tension using the cables. So you notice I grab the, the pole where the cable is situated, lean out, towards the working arm, and then make sure I'm driving. Once again, the elbow is gonna stay nice and high here, making sure that that tension stays in the middle delt on each and every rep. Exercise number six, finishing this workout off with one of the killers when it comes to shoulder movements around the world, dumbbell raises. Doing these seated guys, we're coming up like a typical lateral raise, and then we are keeping the shoulders in tension and moving our wrists in front of our body. So we're gonna hit middle delts, we're gonna hit traps, we're gonna hit front delts. This is hard. <laughs> this is absolutely brutal. And that's why I put it towards the end of a shoulder workout, really burn them out, and then some forced reps on the lateral raises to round this workout out. And that's a wrap for my 3D delts shoulder workout. Guys, give this workout a shot on your next shoulder day. Let me know in the comments down below how you find it. I know there's some little bit, there's some tricky exercises in there, some unique exercise variations and workout techniques. So I'm excited for you guys to put them through their paces and see how you go. As always, if there is any muscle group that you'd like to see me train or collection of muscle groups or particular exercises, pop those in a comment down below as well. And I may get to them in the next episode of The Pump. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel, turn your post notifications on on whatever device you're watching this video on so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. That is The Pump. Until next time, stay massive. Thank you for tuning in to this video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out our latest upload and our recommended video and be sure to subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of our latest uploads.